All right, morning, guys. All right, so today is Monday. Come back from a weekend. Got some new stuff set up for me in uh, for this week. Uh, all right, so let's go for the breakdown. All right, for the breakdown this week or uh, today. Breakdown for today is Monday. Uh, breakdown is service design. We are going to be working on a new project altogether, working on uh, storyboards but they're actually gonna be creating 3D representations via a uh, paper cut. It's gonna be a paper cut book that tells a story, so without words, it's just uh, paper cut out descriptions or paper cut out uh, images. Uh, and then ceramics, we're gonna be working on the slab stuff, like I, like I said last week. Um, today's How Not to Second Teaching is Shoot from the Hip. All right, so Shoot from the Hip is uh, all about how you come into work on a project and you've never done the project before and you're teaching it as though you've taught it five or six times and I'm doing that uh, this week with the uh, the paper cut piece. I've done something similar to it before. I have, I, So it's not, I guess, completely new, but it's one that I've had only like one or two projects that are kind of similar to this, but this is really a new concept for me. I've done storyboarding before we did it. I've done it for like the last three or four years in a different iterations where we made a stop motion animation or I had my students make a comic book and then you had to do storyboarding for that. This one is they're gonna take a uh, they're gonna take a nursery rhyme or story that they identify with on a personal level and they're going to take that and turn it into a uh, cut out storyboard image and we're gonna have these like little books. So we looked at this one picture on Pinterest. I'm gonna put it on put it in here. Um, of how a story, how the the example was, is where you have this book that opens up into these six or seven different pieces, and you can clearly tell it's a story about Cinderella, and how the images that are being cut out, so you're dealing with positive, and negative space, and how those two work together to create that one image that you're for the story. Uh, looks really cool as a project. I think it's a really cool project. Um, students are into it so that so that's always a plus uh but definitely going to be shooting from the hip on this one as far as uh if i'm troubleshooting uh if i'm how i'm explaining things it's it's because it's a it's similar to what i've done before but it's a completely new project that i haven't done before so there's there's some times where i'm going to be second guessing myself and that's not always a good thing but you know we'll see how it goes um other than that I've got some some pieces to work on for myself. I, saw, I came across this uh, this whole iteration in Pinterest on creating slab um, slab templates and and creating texturized designs off of those slab templates. Uh, hopefully, I'll come. Up, I'll have a video.